Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if the service host is experiencing high CPU or disk usage on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So we're going to do a few different things here. First thing I recommend doing would be to open up the search menu, type in CMD. Best result, should come back with command prompt. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive the user account control prompt, go ahead and select yes. And now into this elevated command line window, you want to type in SFC followed by a space forward slash scan now. Scan now should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front. Go ahead and hit enter on your keyboard to begin the system scan. This will take a little bit of time to run, so please be patient. Okay, so now that that's finished, if you close out of here, open up the search menu again and type in services. Best match should come back with services. Go ahead and open that up. Now you want to locate the sys main service, S-Y-S-M-A-I-N. You also just click on a random item in here and just start typing it in. Again, sys main. Go ahead and double click on that. Set serve type to disabled and then select stop if the service status is running. Go ahead and select apply and OK. Close out of here and then restart your computer. And there you go, guys. Hopefully that was able to resolve the problem. One further thing we can try here is disabling the Windows Update Delivery Optimization service. So basically, it'll just download Windows updates from other devices over the network, and it kind of distributes them over the network at a later time. So it's just using your computer's resources and sharing them with other computers on the network. But if you want to go ahead and just turn that off, I'm going to show you guys how to do that. We're going to highlight that next. So open up the search menu, type in Windows Update. Best match, go back for check for updates, or if you just want to open up Windows Update Settings, you can do that as well. And on the right side, you want to go down to Advanced Options and left-click on it. You want to go down and scroll down underneath Delivery Optimization, click on that. And then Allow Downloads from Other PCs, go ahead and just toggle that to the Off position. And that's pretty much it. So once you're done with that, just close out of here. And like I said, hopefully that was able to resolve your problem. So, as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.